Welcome to part one of Seesaw's digital portfolio series, creating folders to organize learning. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create and use folders to organize student work, tag activities to folders for easy collection, enable students to add work to folders. By default, every student will have a highlights folder. This is a great folder to use for conferences or to service your student's digital portfolio. If you want to have subject or skill-specific folders or folders for different times of the year, those will need to be created. Let's walk through this simple process. It's important to note that you will want to create your folders before having students reflect in Seesaw. This will ensure that students have what they need to succeed when it comes to being organized. To create a folder, tap Class Settings or the wrench icon in the upper right-hand corner of your Seesaw class. Find the Folder section and then tap Manage Folders. Click Create a Folder and then type a name for the folder. If you teach our youngest learners or multilingual learners, one great trick is to add an emoji before the name of the folder so students can easily find them. Choose a color for your folder, and then tap the green check to save. Repeat this process for all of the folders you want to create. As teachers, we know that not all student work is created equal. One thing to keep in mind is that not all posts added to Seesaw need to be part of the digital portfolio. You will likely only want to add work that best highlights student growth. When you find an activity that you want to assign and have added to students' digital portfolios, you can tag the folder you want it added to ahead of time. This will ensure the activity automatically gets added to the correct folder once completed. To tag an assignment to a folder, tap Assign. Select the appropriate class. Using the Folders drop-down, select the folder you want the assignment added to and click Save. If you want students to be able to add work to folders on their own, such as end of unit work or reflections, you will need to enable this feature. Simply go to Class Settings and scroll to the Folder section. Click Show Add to Folder step and select Students and Teachers. That brings us to the end of the Creating Folders to Organize Learning tutorial. Keep your learning of Seesaw's digital portfolio going. Continue on to part two to learn how students use Seesaw to add evidence and reflections about their learning.